Hold on, let me give him, let me give him a good introduction. <laughs> oh man, we back, we back, man. We here another episode with M motherfucking K, man. Yeah, man. This guy, man. Yeah, he man. connected docs, man. He's very important to Philadelphia, man. He get booked, he come home, turn that shit all the way back up. Yeah. Connected to one of the pioneers in the yeah, rap yeah. gang, 50 Cent. That's his man, like. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Meek Mill, PNB Rock, mm -hmm. all of them came under. They love me, man. Mike Knox, Benny Siegel, all of them. What's up, man? You doing your thing, man. You come home, you turn right the fuck up. What's Philly up, first for eight. Yo, I, he ducked me when he first came, when he came back home, man. Nah, I wasn't a duck. You know what it was? It was like, I was, I be, I be so caught up in work, and that's why people don't really be seeing me do a lot of interviews, because. Like, I really, like, feel like when you do interviews, niggas just be talking. Right. You know what I'm saying? I really be working. Like, while they, while they doing, running around, doing all that, I really be, like, working. Like, for real. <laughs> this is a little different. I know see. What I mean? So, when I, when I wanted to do it, I'm like, oh, like, when we talk, I'm like, no, we're going to do it when it's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When it's time, I want yeah. it to be. You know what I mean? Look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, you see how you got it all lit up, so. Yeah, man. Timing. Shout out to Ferno Productions, man. man. You already know we here. I yeah, mean, yeah. it's time for it's time for you know the the real. Let's do it. To be on top and win, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, you've been doing your thing for some time in Philadelphia, man. Mm -hmm. I saw you on a chill walk for the streets DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a long time. You was rapping Uptown. Yeah, that's a long time. Take yeah. us back, like See, we want to know the, the beginning, thing, like not the Uptown thing. What people probably realize is this: I'm originally from North Philly. Okay. Right? I'm from 16th and Cecil B. Moore. 16th and Cecil When Cecil B. Moore was called Columbia Avenue. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's, yeah. Let's get into that part of it, right? <laughs> and um, what happened was, what people don't know about 16th and Cecil B. Moore is, at one point in time, they came and they told everybody that lived on that block that they had to move. Mm. So my grandmother lived on that block. So in that process, they're like, listen, we're tearing these joints down. Mm. So... Depending on how you live and you know how things been with you these last few years is going to determine where you're going to be. Right. If you're going to be in a project or you're going to pick a neighborhood where you can move to. Mm. And my grandmother them picked Germantown. Germantown. Right. So yeah. when they picked Germantown, my uncle he was living in Logan. I used to always go down Logan. You know mm. what I mean? It was because this was where I was at. You know, so I used to go down Eleventh Street, all different areas like that. Mm. And um, then I started to actually um, go to school uptown. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was going to like Martin Luther King. I did a year in King. I dropped out <laughs> and started King. hustling. Yeah. And um, I actually had a, a trap house. Well, they say trap house now. <laughs> I, had a, I had a spot on Staten Island, like down the street from Martin Luther King. So right. I started hustling the whole lot. You know right. what I'm saying? And um, so, that's how the uptown thing came into play. Yeah. So. What is Mike Knotts known as? Who was Mike Knotts around that time and shit? Was you doing the rap thing or was you, what was you known for doing? Like, what um, were you know? At that time, I was just, I would say at that particular time, I was, uh, I was, I was Mike mm. before the Knox then came into play. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was just a, a young nigga just trying to get to a dollar. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I started rapping when I got shot. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really like, into the rap shit, but they like, yo, my temper was so bad from, you know, at my incident that they like, you, the doctor like, you need to find something to, to just calm you down. You know what I'm saying? And one of my best friends, uh, Saif, he was, he was, he was rapping. So I started fucking with it and then it just got there. You know what I'm saying? Over the years, it just started turning up. I'm glad you said, mm -hmm. yo, wait, everybody, cause everybody, Used to call Mike Knox the bully, like throughout yeah. your career. You know why they say that? You see, I know why they say that. Nah, listen, no, listen. When they say I'm a bully, right? It's because they not seeing what's happening when it happens. Like it's like me and you in a restaurant right now, right? Mm -hmm. And I like, yo, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You make the order. I go to the bathroom. You don't see that this nigga in the process of me going to the bathroom, he did something. <laughs> All you hear is my reaction. And that's when they say he's the bully. Mm. I be telling people I just look this way. It's, it's not my fault that I have a baby face. But I'm, I will do what I have to do if necessary. Right. So 
over the time, I think with my height and my voice and me being aggressive, because I was always taught that you meet aggression with aggression, you meet disrespect with disrespect, and you meet respect with respect. Solid. So Solid. that's what I stand on. Yeah. So I don't ain't no bully in me. <laughs> well, we gonna get into it. Yeah, we can. So, so, so. We went in streaks. I even saw you when we went in streaks. Yeah, wait, wait, uh, Wow. Yeah, yeah. I was around, man. No, I'm talking about before that. Not, 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 what's that? Mm -hmm. Too raw for the streets. Mm -hmm. A big Mike Knox. I'm like, damn, you always as big as shit. No, that might have just been my bulletproof vest I was wearing. <laughs> I used to wear the vest as well. They tell you, too raw for the streets. Tell you. Look, too raw for the streets. Like, try, I never forget, I went to a, um, I went to a, a, a event Charlie Mack had one time. Mm. It was on Delaware Avenue and I walked in and he went to go try to hug me at the time I went, I was like, you know how you shake your hand, you bring it in. And I'm like keeping him away. He like, and he goes, and he felt my bulletproof and he like, yo, there ain't no way to live. And I'm like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I always kind of been like that. Yeah. Cause I've been in a lot of shit. Yeah. The streets know, and the streets know. Yeah, but you know. I mean, I'm you the first one. Mm -hmm. That we heard go at it with a nigga like Benny Siegel when Benny Siegel was the Broad Street Billy. Yeah, you know that, that situation is so it's weird when when that when it comes. I'm gonna tell you why. I think you probably the only one that if you interviewed him, mm -hmm. you would ask him about that. I will. I know you would. But listen, <laughs> there's a lot of people that won't ask him about mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. right? Because they just know that's not the thing to ask him. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> But they'll ask me because they're looking for me to give them a certain type of energy behind it that right. I'm not going to give them. Mm. But it's weird to, to even talk about it because of where we at, as far as me and him. You I know. know what I mean? Like, we, it's like my brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like, it. So, you know, but we both know that it's that moment is a part of our story. So we look at it that we can one day use it for the youngest to see, like, you know, after they went through all of that shit. Yeah. They, they got together and did music and made some things happen. So, yeah. yeah. But you saw him in the club that night, right? Mm hmm You jumped on him. Nah, I didn't go like that. <laughs> it didn't go like that. I heard that from the audio book. It didn't go like that. It was just an altercation where words was had. And we got the fight in that motherfucker. That's what happens, right? We got the fight. Somebody got to win, somebody got to lose. But what I say is like, if you want him, he could fight. Mm -hmm. And I don't think a lot of these niggas would stand in front of him and put their hands up. Fortunately, that's just the truth. <laughs> so, so let's get back to the music. Yeah, you always find a way to stay on top of your game. Mm -hmm. Freestyle after freestyle, project after the project. And, and you you got ties with Fifty Cent. I mean, yeah. it's like you point you making you making a lot of shots in the sub city of Philadelphia, connecting a lot of dots. Mm -hmm. Then you connect to Fifty Cent, and you putting niggas on. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of behind the scenes shit. You help a lot of niggas. Also, along with you being your own artist and shit like that. Yeah. Speak on. I, I mean, you know, it's crazy for for some time. Like you know, like my, my partner here, tweet here. And cuz over here too. And, and and a lot of times they be like, yo, bro, like, I don't never let it be known the shit you be doing. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's not, they just passionate about it because they know my heart. You know what I'm saying? They know that I really do this shit for a genuine reason right. when I fuck with somebody. Mm. And they watch these niggas do the opposite. Right. When the light is on them, or if they like them or not, make they like bright for them. I've yeah. done that shit a few yeah. times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I put a lot of people in, like Jordan Banks. I got him signed to Dream Chasers. Man. You know what I'm saying? Heavy. I took Heavy. Reed Dollars to 50 Cent. Took Reed Dollars to 50 Cent. I took Cent. Cheek Raw to 50 Cent. Cheek Raw to 50 Cent. I took Benny Siegel to 50 Cent. Wow. Who else? I mean, I, you know. And you always have a relationship with me. I put Mick Mills on the phone with 50 Cent. Your relationship with Meek Mills, y'all was always tight, but I saw Meek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I see when you came home, I, I, I don't see the connect. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I know how things going on. Nah, I see, I actually, nah, see, you know what's crazy? But a lot of people, me and Meek Mills talk all the time. Mm. I seen Meek Mills uh, for the first time at Club Noto when I came home. Mm. And we had a quick, quick, quick conversation. 
But we talk all the time on the phone. Like we, we talk. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not. Listen, let me explain something to you. I, I've never been the one to feel like to lean on no man to do something for me. Right. And this shit. I know how I go. I know that is more to it on the surface than people see. Mm. They just expect because a person is in a position that they can put everybody on. But right. you just don't know what's in that black and white for that man or what they got going on. Maybe you could do it for this person or that person, right? But maybe mm. the stars just don't line up for you. For real. So because it don't line up for you, you can't say to this what he's doing. It might be something you ain't doing right. So mm. you got to go back to the to the board and recook your shit and come back and see what you can do. Mm. A lot of niggas want people to invest in them, but they won't invest in themselves. Invest in themselves. I've been doing this shit from day one, independent. And your, and your business always been lined yeah. up right. Well, yeah, but I, you make mistakes in order to know what you need to be doing and how you need to be doing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, when they push the Meek Mills button, when they say, Meek Mills ain't put this person up. Like, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't look at Meek Mills the way that other people look at Meek Mills. Right. Meaning, to me, Meek is a, a great artist. Right. I feel like they looked for him to put people on too early. Mm. Like, even with the Dream Trees. And it's not, I'm not prying in their business. I'm just hoping that other people in the city could get an understanding. Facts. But when you've been trying to get something going for so long as he's been trying to, we all been trying to. Right. And then you finally get it going. Right? Yeah. You got a lot of shit to get off your chest. Do, so do. you may take on a responsibility mm. of you want to put artists on, but putting artists on means you got to really be in day in and day out with them artists because yeah. you're considered to be the front man. Like a motherfucker. So with everything he got going on, I'm pretty sure that probably was just too much pressure at that point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He so. came through for a lot of niggas too. Though, like, and that's you know what mean? counts, that he mm -hmm. came through for somebody, I think. I think... When you don't come through for nobody, that's when it's bad. When you came through for somebody, somebody caught the blessing. That's good enough. Mm. That's how I look at it. Back to you, though, Knox. Yeah. It was a time in your career doing everything was going well. Yeah. You on every radio station. Yeah. <laughs> you bullying everybody in the fucking city. I guess. <laughs> AR ad before ad. Mm -hmm. This was the bully. Mm -hmm. Then on top of that, I don't know where you go to jail. Yeah, they You get locked the fuck up. I remember hearing you I got on the radio. You. It's crazy because it became, I did the shit. You know, a lot of niggas gonna get on there and say, they ain't do the shit. I did the shit. I was a part of it. Mm. And I backed out of it. Mm. And it came two years later, because once you're in a conspiracy, you can't get out of the conspiracy. Mm. So my track record was so fucked up that I couldn't go to trial and fight. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew that these people was gonna fuck me over. And the nigga that they got wore wire on me. Oh, man. So by him wearing the wire on me, if he already wore the wire and you see the shit is already in the proper and you see clearly what they saying, mm. right? Mm. What the, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna go pay all this money, I already spent over $25,000 on my lawyer already. So I'm supposed to continue to pay to see you stand on the, sit on the stand and say what you already wow. said? Right. I don't need to hear that shit again. I already know what it is. Come on, what y'all got for me? I'm getting the fuck out of here. That was the situation, because it was quick. It was fact, because I knew. I knew I, it was over. Once, once I got all the discovery, I sent the wire to that. Mm. I said, oh no, this clearly, this is it. It's over. I'm going down. Wow. Because you can't beat, you can't beat the conspiracy. Mm. It's impossible. Wow. Once you in it, you in it. It's just about my point structure, my... My, he tried to get me, and he even tried to get me in hands with a gun by saying, yo, every time I see him, he got a gun on him. Wow. And they're going to believe that and form me. Mm. Because up to this point, they feel like everything he said has been truthful. Right. So why wouldn't they believe, why would they believe me over him as far as saying I'm not that person? Right. Because I'm not talking to them. See, that's the difference when I look at, when you look at the rappers and they're talking this shit, the feds and all this shit and they records, they calling them people to them. Facts. That shit ain't to be played with. Facts. People ain't playing that fuck you up bad. I'm know. not. I'm not advocating for them, mm. but I'm saying I've been on that side of the, the fence to know that's not really what you want. Now, how many years you did? I did. They gave me 94 months, so I did seven years, ten months. I did almost seven. I was like shy three months or seven, seven years. Wow. I and, I, and I started in the pen from the pen all the way down. Mm. 
Yeah. And I was breaking niggas the fuck up in there too. So you can do your research on that shit too. This shit real. <laughs> I'm just saying, cause you know I don't be doing a bunch you know, of niggas, so I'm gonna give it to you one time. Listen, and we here today. We yeah, here, yeah, we yeah. here to get into it. Yeah. So your jail bed. Yeah. You ain't complain. You had your, your music lined up. No, you know what's crazy? Was... When I when I went in, I hated rap. Mm. I hated it. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to see videos. I didn't want to look at magazines. I didn't want to do none of that shit. Cause in my mind, I said seven years. Oh, it's over. I'm dying. I can't come back off this rap. I can't come back and do the rap shit. <laughs> I'm thinking like I'm gonna get into real estate or I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be working somewhere. Niggas gonna be like, look at this nigga. Like, I, you know, that's just how my mind was set up at that time. All right. But um, as time went on, and I was so close, and I had a phone in there. You know what yeah. what I'm I had an iPhone in there. I was. I was running the jail. I got kicked out of, kicked out of the jail. Like, you got kicked out of the jail. Me and Southwest T. Like these guys, these guys be kicked rapping. Out of the jail. I really did time with these guys. Like they kicked the, They told me they said they came and got me. They came and got me. They told me they said, listen. I said, yo, what the fuck? Said, listen, <laughs> you're never going back to our compound. You got too much influence in the jail. You out of here. And they shipping you. They shipped me to the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, the Billy right here. Right? Nah, but it was for the money then. It was I had to make the money. I had to miles to feed. Yeah, I mean, you know I can't. I don't want to go too much in it because I know somebody feeding their family now off the same type shit. All right. So, you know, so it was a situation like that. Yeah, it was a situation like that. It was coming though, heaven. You took it, didn't complain. Come back home. Nine months in the hole, straight. Nine months in the hole, straight. Damn, straight. Mike Knox. Nine months in the hole, straight. So what was your technique coming home? Because it's like, shit, no, first, mm -hmm. I need to know. Like, cause I saw 50 holding down for you when you, when you yeah. was in jail. Your mm -hmm. relationship with 50 Cent, how did that come in play? I see y'all got strong yeah, that, vibes. That, that came in play from um, really two people. Uh, my man, Big Champ, and uh, Steve Brody. Mm. You know, Steve Brody was booking 50 Cent, you know, at one point in time, bringing him to Philly and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, I had linked up with him and he, he put me in front of him. He kept his word and put me in front of him. And it was about what I needed to do from there. Wow. And, you know, I built my relationship with Tony Ayo. That's my brother. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And it just it just circulated into a complete family. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we just became super tight. Sturdy. Yeah. But even with that, I think, like, in the beginning, why it kind of took so long, because I don't think I was ready yet, as far as the record, I was so heavy in the streets at that time that I was, like, tap dancing with the music shit. Like, all right, like... Niggas would call me and be like, yo, we up to I'm like, what? I just made 30 grand. Like, I'm not going. Like, what? I got some other shit to do. So I think I was tap dancing with it until I needed to just sit down and lock down and just really get busy with it. But then by then it was time to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, happen how it happened. So you did your bed, came home, looked it good. Mm -hmm. Straight. You like. Like, let's talk about your accomplishment, MK. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I see, you having shoulders with the right people, and I yeah, see you and 50 right back at it. Yeah, shit. You gotta, like, look, my thing was I knew, I said, listen, I wasn't worrying about people watching. I was just more so worrying about, it's like, I was seven years behind, but really seven years ahead. Mm. So when they be like, yo, why this nigga rapping? I'm really seven years behind you niggas. I'm really younger than you niggas for real. For <laughs> I was jail. It, it, it jail fucking it 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 holds you, it, it absorbs you. It, you know what I'm saying? You you know how you see a nigga coming from jail and he be shining, you be like, damn, that nigga got like a glow to him. Right. Right. You know, I got a seven year glow. Damn. Behind you niggas. I'm younger than you niggas. <laughs> and I work. These niggas are you know how the basketball players, look, think about this real quick. Think Good. about this. Good. Back in the day, they used to show Allen Iverson, all right? The time. Before the game, they would show a skeleton of him. And he had all these fucking injuries. And they'd be like, his thumb broke, this fracture, that broke, this fracture, this, this, this. But he's still playing. Still playing. Now, these niggas bend their pinky finger. They out for the, for the next month. They gonna miss 10 games, <laughs> right? <laughs> Me, I'm going to work. I, I'm going to work. I'm not going to stop. None of these niggas in this city can keep up with me. So, none of them. So, 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 so not. I know. No, no, not, not, none of them 
Can't keep none of them work out that you like mine. Lee Moss called you out recent. I'm talking about AR Ad Brother. Let me sip my water first. So listen. Called MK. I never saw nobody call MK out. MK do the billing in and he me make the shots. But you got another Billy on the block, Leak Moss called I, you out. You know, I, I listen. I heard about it first. Right? When I heard about it, I'm like, nah. It's not possible. And then I seen him. I'm like, I understand where he's trying to go with this. Like where like where this come from? Because I'm like, is this like a move? Like what type of move is this, right? And then you had to I had to listen to what he said. So he said to Black De Niro, you better off battling Mike Knox or, or, or something like that, right? And I'm like, that's not bad, Mike. Nah, see, cause listen, let me explain something to you. I, I want to see people win, man. I respect that. Right? I don't get nothing out of that shit. I don't get nothing out of that. I know he can't keep up with me. Who wants you saying? Nah, he, that we two different artists. Name, right now, and this is me, name one Leak Mars record that you know top to bottom. I wait. No, I like, you got you, some I, That's not what I said. I said name one record from <laughs> Leak, no, no. We name one record from Leak Mars that the entire, not his neighborhood, not the niggas he be with, that Philadelphia know, and then name how many records niggas know from Mike now. I wait. Let's do this year, Philadelphia, that's a heavy record. So, listen, before he can fuck with me, he gotta put the work in. Mm. So I'm gonna give him a pass on that. So you saying- Maybe he, next year we can revisit it. Hey. Cause I like Lee. I like him. And maybe he just was in a moment and just said my name. But if I was to see Lee today and tomorrow, it would be like this, a smile. Oh, that's what it is. I mean, but Lee can't fuck with me, man, you crazy. He hungry, and he said he about, yeah. to, he about to get it in a battle world. He's hungry, but I've been starving forever. It's a difference. I'm a fucking gladiator. It's a difference. I mean, yeah. I don't know a, I don't know a record. Cosmic Cav, Funk Flex, K Slayer, anybody ever played from Leak Mars. <laughs> Name one. I'm still waiting. Did he just drop a project? <laughs> Yeah. What did it do? And if we have a live audience, y'all gonna do this? Nah, because listen, th this is what I be saying about the bully shit. <laughs> I be minding my business and then niggas will just say something. And then I'ma come with facts. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put nothing on your name. I ain't gonna I'ma come with complete facts. Mm. I ain't say nothing that wasn't factual, did I? I'm rocking with more on that one. You supposed to. <laughs> But but let's let's, let's 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 talk about the good shit that Mike Knox been doing, man. Mm -hmm. Like you had your problems with being, mm -hmm. but I feel like I'm the same way you are. Won't pair with an individual, and you know, lady in line. That's my best friend. That's my dog. We see that's the relationship you got with Bings, mm -hmm. and we see that you work Bings in the same room with Oskino, and you the one mm -hmm. squash that beef. Yeah. We to see that happen was like heartfelt because you know the situation with Bings mm -hmm. and him, and you know he just Oskino just lost his sons. Mm -hmm. What made you sit, sit them guys down and told them guys? Well, they they kind of they kind they kind of look at me a little different. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Meaning, like we we look at each other as brothers. We I'm not in state property, but I got relationships with all of them individually. Mm. You know, at one point in time, you know, we was all rocking together to where it's going. It was shows being booked, and mm -hmm. you know, me and Beans doing a thing with Fifty and stuff like that. So it was a lot that where the trust was there. Mm. So for me to say, excuse me, yo, bro, I really feel like this is the time for y'all to, to have a conversation because for a man to say, hold up, mm -hmm. old son just died. Yeah, that was heavy. Fuck everything else. For a man to say that and like, nah, this is not rap shit. Right. I need to go see my brother. It's you know what I mean? It's and, true. you know, and it went back and forth 
positively for like two, three days. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? And I'm like, yo, come on, like. Let's do it. And then they did. History. Yeah. Nobody else, nobody else could have did that. They wouldn't have listened to nobody else in that situation. I mean. It's a trust yeah. on both sides. Just like when I had those skin on, on here, I, mm -hmm. y'all y'all connect a lot of dots. Y'all make yeah. shit happen. Y'all yeah. make sure shit is peace. And that's yeah. and, and 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 that's why I'm saying like with Leak, I like Leak. Not yeah. going back or backwards. But I'm saying that's why shit like that confuses me because, like, I remember I think he performed one time and it's like I hopped on the stage and show love. Like things when ad first yeah. went down. I know he probably got a lot of weight on him. You know what I'm saying? But. I don't, I don't really like to see us as Philly go back and forth with each other because we don't know how to handle that shit really one way. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's words on 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 on, on records until they can see each other. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that type of, and it's 2022. Yeah. All I want to do is take trips and hop in and out of foreigners. That's all I've been doing since I've been home. Foreign on a block, a back block. I'm just saying, that's all I've North been doing. I ain't been doing nothing. I ain't. But you still we for us. We was getting money. All right, so we can say that should go over 2022. But you still a fucking Billy, too. No, I mean, recently, I'm not. All right, so I'm just hearing things. Recently, I what? heard Dutch got smashed up and beat up and tossed on his neck by Mike Knott. What happened with you and Dutch? That's like not, this. That's not. That's not true. You hear it from the, from the man. Listen, that's not true. I wish nothing but the best for Dutch. I want nothing but success for every artist in Philadelphia. That's not true. This allegation. I don't know if he was in a car accident or tripped over something. I don't know, but that's not true. There's no tape of that. There's no. That's an illusion. You got me baffled with that one. Oh, man. You know, this is the Philly Fresh 48. But. I can give you your credit because mm -hmm. the worth ethic. Thank you. Your visuals. Mm -hmm. Chris. Mm -hmm. K Davis. Y'all been y'all been running it up, man. K Davis, uh, Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Yeah, my man. Movies. My man Bang Bang from um, Delaware. I work with a few um people. Mm. I work with a few people. So recently you was on a big screen. 50 Cent. Oh yeah, power. Power. Yeah. That's accomplishments, man. You know why that's so big for real, for real? Because it's like that that record is a, a record that's off of my late, me and my partner, Tweet, 1722 Music Group. So that was a big placement for us. Mm. And there's many more to come. I'm, I think I'm on like two or three more TV shows with different music. It's thorough. You know what I'm saying? So what people don't understand is when you take those records and you, they come up under your company as licensing, it's, you know, it's publishing deals and stuff like that that come out. We trying to get the money. Man. Nobody wearing focus on no beef and all that. 50 Cent, man. Shout out to 50. Uh, you always, it's it been like, you always, is muscle. Y'all are brothers, but you ain't let nobody get off on 50. Nah, no, I wonder why. Head. Because it's it's the same thing as me and you. If, if we rocking, man, like, they can't do that shit. Like, nobody playing with my man. Mm -hmm. like, he ain't let nobody play with him. But I'm just saying. Nobody playing my man. That's already been established. They they know what's up. They ain't even playing with us like that. We ain't Philly shit. Yeah, we ain't we ain't doing that. They ain't. Who, whoever touched him. He ain't gonna let you touch him. I saw, I saw a gunplay was on the floor. That's old shit, man. Ain't muscle. Playing my man. Muscle, but it's like you bring peace in Philly too. If something not going right, you on the phone making it happen. Like, it's hard though, like it's not, it's not really an easy space to be in because, you know, niggas don't be trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? No. Nope. So it's like, you got to really like, been a person that's been in the mix and people respect and love and really hear your your, your, your side and your opinion and, and, and everything that you, you're coming with. You can't just be like trying to talk down to the young and then, All right. and this whole life he been feeling like, Older niggas been getting over, getting over and he ain't That's really trying to hear that shit. Yeah. Or you gotta know when the day is to talk to him. Yeah. Day might not be the day. You know, he might walk in and be like, and give you the little, I ain't trying that shit. And I ain't gonna talk to him today. Right. But eventually we'll talk. You know what I'm saying? I remember he was on the clubhouse. I saw something going on mm -hmm. with Meek Mill and PB Rock. Right. You get right on stage, you handle it. Maturely, like I see your growth, man. Yeah. It, just, I, like, I, it was it, see, it wasn't really um, 
Meek and PMB, I think they was they was both talking at the time about um, what was going on with the, I think the pound side pop. Uh, the, I, I, it's crazy, I know pound side pop. Like, I know mm. since he was a baby. Mm. But I, I think they was just communicating about that. And I feel like a lot of people wasn't understanding, not the deal in particular I'm talking about, because mm. that's their business. Right. But I think it started to turn into a Rush Meek Mill type thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And not really seeing what he was saying or how he felt about because I mean me personally, right? Mm. If I ain't got nothing going on, and this is my opportunity, you telling me this is what I got for you. Mm. And this is all I got for you. And this is my only shot, I'm gonna take it and make it into something. Right. Right? Right, solid. So that's just how I feel. But everybody right. has their own opinion. So I really just spoke on the fact of you know, I think he gets more hassle f for the fact that they don't, they look at him as he do, he's the one right. from that era right. that right. he should understand if anybody else don't understand. Facts. You know what I mean? Because you're coming from the bloodhounds and the this and the that. You know what I'm saying? So they feel like he should, he should understand more. Mm. And I had to express that to him. And I think he understood that part. Like, right. damn. You're right, because you see, it wasn't like a rebuttal what? to what I was saying. Yeah, you know what I mean. But a lot of us don't. A lot of us don't really know how to express how we truly feel. Right. So they express it out of anger. Right. And they come off fucked up. Man, I think that's why shit be looking. Yeah, and the Philly be looking crazy. The state of Philly right now, like you see, the murders was damn near six hundred. Mm -hmm. And Sharon, and you know, you all too. Yeah, real boombie, uh, young boy. And always big disconnect. I had one of my parents, shit like that. A lot of them say that they don't respect the old heads because the old heads don't respect them and always treat them like crash dummies and all that shit. That, you know? Nah, I get it. It's the truth. I was a young nigga before that was treated that way. Right. And then I start trashing them old niggas. So right. I get what they're saying. Mm. But on the same token, what they got to understand is they young, but they're not being looked at as young no more. Oh. You're not yeah. young when you got a kid. Facts. You're not young when you not only got a kid and a baby mom and you're taking care of all of them, mm -hmm. take care of the household because the majority of these young niggas today mm -hmm. are providers. Right. No, no matter how they provide, they yeah. provide for somebody. They love somebody. Yeah, like a motherfucker. Listen, the ice man loves somebody. So you ain't gonna <laughs> tell me you don't love nobody. You understand what I'm saying? So they are providers, but by them being providers, it's like... Certain shit they just don't see, but it's just a disconnect because a lot of these old niggas, man, they don't mean well. Mm. They don't. They don't. You gotta, you gotta really like, like look, like my partner, right? He'll get up out of nowhere. Mm. And he'll go down Kensington and he'll feed two hundred people. Mm. Mm. Even if it's just fucking cheeseburgers and fries. It's true. That's he'll true. go down there and he'll do that shit. It's true. By himself. Pull up, open the door, and just... I got y'all. Right? That's true. So, and he a uh, uh, OG. Mm -hmm. That niggas will do whatever for him. Mm -hmm. Like this, one finger. One even ain't got a fucking blink. Yeah. But the point that I'm making is, they don't make them like that no more. Maybe where? So, right. he's, he's one that they would listen to. But you can't be a one that you talking that shit and then behind it, spend on him. Yeah. And then There's he spend on him. Yeah. Now young boy book, you ain't got no bell for him, you ain't got nothing for him, right. you ain't looking out for him, you ain't hitting this girl, you ain't doing nothing, you just yeah. like fuck him. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know what young boy talking about the whole time you sent him. So yeah. that's why they don't be really respecting him. At all. That's that's what And if they didn't do it to them, they did it to somebody they know. You know what I'm saying? So you know, that's what it be. Man, the advocate for the 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 the, the, the uh, old heads, man. You you are one, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm encouraging you to use that voice more often, man. Cause I'm a young nigga, that. man. So, I'm, okay. I'm a young nigga, man. I took them seven years behind, but seven years ahead of these niggas. I'm a young nigga, man. I'm and the you, closest thing to the OGs, but I'm a young nigga. Your new record. Yeah. That's a vibe. I saw you vibing. Yeah. You look happy, you. man. Yeah, because you gotta, you gotta have some fun with this shit. Tell them look, about that. Look, Atlanta is having fun. Mm -hmm. Look, you look at Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. 
shit. These niggas ain't just doing music together. They buying each other cars for their birthday. They showing up at each other parties. Girl. They 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 leveling up they they women and all this shit. Like they they turning their shit into million dollar situations. Yeah. And then you look at Philly and what we know. Just take No, Philly talking about right, dick ride, dick ride, man. Where does dick ride? What play. no really where? I don't play that. Where is that? Something in Philly. <clears throat> because you trying to make a connection to somebody? Because you trying to get further yeah. in life? Because guess what? If if you a street nigga, if you if you a young nigga and you gotta get some work, you you gotta you gotta make them believe in you to give it to you, right? So is that dick right? Tell them, tell them. I'm just keeping it a buck. You know what I'm saying? Same the same terminology now they do all this. Excuse my French that I never use it. Suck my. Yeah. When did we start that? It's a lot of that shit. This and the dead. When did we like when did that become cool? Like, I don't understand. It's just a it's a it's it's confusing to me. Wow. Very. And we see all the uh leaders, all the uh 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 all them you know, the type of guys that, that, that speak positivity is all going mm. down, man. A lot of them not right. So they'll be leading the way. And out of nowhere, they'll get locked up. You got a major change. Like, mm. was, you got a voice, a major change. I, I love this message. I just support him, too. Mm. He go down. Mm. Uh, the other guy, he kidnapped, the, kidnapped him. He was kidnapping boys and shit like that uh, mm. in the park. I forgot. Leader. Mm. He go down for kidnapping mm. bitches. Like, mm. It's like all these leaders. And all the old heads are supposed to be leading the way, keep letting them young is down. So we need more solid guys, stand up guys. Yeah, we we we, we definitely need yeah. more solid guys. And at the end of the day, I feel like people just gotta be um, mindful, right, of what they doing, how they doing, and and, and, and what they saying. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to stand on that shit. Yeah, you got to stand on it. Yo, I see you was around beings and y'all had a tight relationship. How do you feel mm -hmm. when somebody like Kanye West double mm -hmm. back and say, huh, I owe you this. But just give me a nickname, give me the opportunity to mm -hmm. be who I am mm -hmm. in life. You feel like beings got that money, it, 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 but you feel like, how do you feel about those? How do you feel about that type of move with the Kanye? I, I mean, me personally, I don't, I don't feel um, nothing at all. You know, I was one of the ones that that um I knew. I know him. I I know I know Ben. I I know when when certain shit becomes uh overwhelming to him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like at that moment, once I seen it, like once I seen what was going on, I said, Oh yeah, they about to be calling his phone crazy. <laughs> and that's the shit that we laugh at. Me and him laugh at. Mm -hmm. Me and him and his brother news and and, 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 and cousin Lil, like we laugh at Look oh, at this shit. shit. Like, y'all niggas gonna call it like that. Yeah. Like, that's the shit that's funny to me out of it all. I don't right. think about whatever mm -hmm. it is that. Yeah, I don't care about that. It's, it's like, man, it's like uh, relative shit. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, now you got that family member that got the money you don't care. We're like, I don't care about that shit, nigga. Yeah. What's right. up with you? Right. What's you know what I'm saying? As long as you are right, I'm all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. That's it. And I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to do the right thing. I think he's in another zone now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he always going to be looked at as who he is. The Broad Street Billy. Yeah. I think you take the board, the Broad Street out of him, man. I just was sad to see him and Tifa go at it. And yeah, I want to sit down. I want to have a conversation with Bings. Yeah, man. I think he'll he'll do it. Uh, they, they reconcile, though. I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, man, things happen, right? And mm -hmm. we don't know why they happen, but. Right. You know, the purpose with we'll see later. The mm. Purpose will come when you know you, you, you get together and you figure it out. Right. It's not about what happens at that moment. Right. Because whatever happens at that moment, that energy is not. It's it's driven by something. Right. And then you bring on the the energy that fixes it. Right. That's good. That's that's good stuff right there. Yeah. So, now I see your new visual, I see it, I see what you just delivered, mm -hmm. and I see that it was on Power 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. 
So, so Philly, like Philly, really, we see you fuck with you hard. So, what you be putting you on power plays like that and yeah. showing you, you learn a lot about with marketing and yeah, it's no, it's no, um, it's no limit to, to him. Mm. I'd be a fool to be around a nigga worth all that money and not make nothing happen. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think for me, like, getting on a jet and being on a jet for a month straight. <laughs> <laughs> Changed my perception of a lot of shit. <laughs> like who you wants to jail so like yeah, like, I'm gonna jet like who <laughs> wants the beef? What beef about what? Wow. Like, I'm just gonna jet for a month as you fucking great. I don't wanna die. Picture. I don't wanna go to jail, I nigga. Mean, I wanna travel. Right. I wanna jump in water, clean as some shit I've never seen before. Right. Get money and watch all the people I love and the niggas I fuck with. That's my brothers and cousins and shit like that live the same life as me. That's hot. That's why, why I wanna be why do I wanna be caught up in this shit? Philly shit. That's why I try to leave the town. We leave town so much so fast. Nigga be like, yo, we gone fume. Like, cause for what? You're not gonna catch Mike Knox at the Chinese store like this. <laughs> I don't come through there. Right. You're not gonna see the machine twisted with the doors open and the numbers of the bullets not. No, my shit bulletproof. And I'm not coming through there. Stirring. I have no reason to come through there. I'm taking 95, 76 and 2nd Street. Well, I should have said 2nd Street, but I'm taking that. I'm not taking those. <laughs> tip, top, bop, bop, bop. I'm not doing them. I respect that. I'm not jumping out, putting the hazard lights on and all that. You're not getting me. No, ain't going like that. And I'm not saying I can't be got. I'm just saying I'm not doing that. Smart. You move smart. You, you move can't get off the jet and do that. Look at the Dolph. You know, it's Dolph for not really being. You can't really fault him for that. Mm. You can't. You don't. You can't really fault fault that. I, I think right now is a bad time. A lot of rappers is getting killed. Mm. Right. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta get away from this shit. Too. You can't stay. Mm. You can't. Okay. You can't be that successful and want to be back to the ground and stay because you feel like because you feel like if you don't that you you're not you anymore. Some mm. people need it to continue to create the way that they create them. Right. Some people need that. Some people build off of that. Mm. But there's other ways to tap into where you're from besides being there that way. Right. Because you become big dog. Right. Like me, man, you're big dog. You're calling the shots. When you come in, it's supposed to be big dog. <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying that because it's not to keep saying his name or nothing like that, but I'm just saying, like, when you become big dogs, you got to move big dog way. Accordingly, yeah. But we don't know when anybody day is. Our day can come tomorrow, now. We don't know, so. Right. Yeah. Other than that, we know that some, some it's going to be a point in time we going to have to sit down in Philadelphia, though, because the young boy be 40, and uh, it's going to be something. Like, we going to need you, Oskino. We going to need things. We going to need the big influencers like Meek Mill. See, sit down, let me tell you sit something. Everybody down. Let me tell you something about sitting people down. I'm a firm believer in this. It's like Venus and Serena. Mm. They both on the court, right? <laughs> right. They're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Mm. You can't talk to even one of them when they're going back and forth and back and forth. Mm. You gotta wait till they both tired. Right, right. Because if somebody drop on this side, then somebody gonna drop on this side. Right. And then somebody gonna go back and drop on this side. And then they're going to come back and drop on this side. So you trying to talk in between the dropping. Mm. No, they got to lose niggas. They got to lose niggas. Then it's like, we lost enough. Yeah. Or did we lose enough? Because at that moment, they in it. Right. You can't look at it and say, y'all need to stop. Yeah, they do need to stop. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not promoting or glorifying the back and forth. Yeah, yeah. But nobody's stopping in the middle like that. Like when yeah. it's, no, nah, it's not. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just it can't be happy. It can't happen. Especially when somebody lost someone. Somebody lost, lost somebody. Someone. And you know, everybody dealing with loss different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you telling me to let that go? I don't got my, my brother no more. I don't got my sister no more. So what's the plat pass for that? Mm. 
Because I got to watch my mother cry all the time about that. Yeah. Because he ain't walking in that door no more behind this shit. Right. But I'm supposed to watch these niggas walk. So it's a lot. It's it's not an easy space to be into. Mm. See, I thought about something different. I feel like we need to take like a big ass building. Like the city need to take a big building, right? And build studios, build games, mm. build niggas basketball courts, pools, yeah. all this shit in there. Yeah. Right? And this be the home base for any beefs, neutral zone. Right? You make it a neutral zone. But here's what you do. You, you look at it, you say, who's the, who's the niggas that's beefing the most right now? Who's the niggas that's just going crazy right now? Right. You put them two niggas' crew names up on the board and you say, if they stop this beef, wow. we're going to give them this. We're going to give them this amount of money and we're going to give them CDLs. We're going to give them opportunity. We're going to mm. give them this if y'all stop. That's hard. Right? Mm. And then, if anybody get locked up, right, mm -hmm. out of that month, both sides to stop this just to get y'all to come in to stop the beef. All right. And then y'all get locked up outside of a homicide. You got one time free bail and lawyer mm. from us. One time. You can use it once anytime you can use it one time though. Maybe free card. Right? After a while, bro, it's gonna get to somebody's chest like, man, I'm tripping. Yeah. I got all this opportunity over there. Let me go. I'm going down there, man. Yeah, and ain't nobody trying to put y'all in jail. Ain't no right. detectives there. Ain't no none of that. Mm. Right? Niggas going to say, man, I can do the CDL. Because everybody got something they want to do. Yeah. But they don't know how to how to do it. Right. They don't know how to. I can start a security company. Or I, I, I could start my own construction company. Or I could do my own CDL. They don't have no knowledge of doing it. Mm. The city just keep getting on the, the commissioners. Or they just keep getting, they ain't talking about giving nobody shit. It's crazy. They man. just keep talking about, don't come outside. It's dangerous. These guys are killers. They this, they that. They kill it. You got to find something to change it. Mm. You ain't changing it. You ain't changing it. They don't give a fuck about you getting up on there and keep saying that. And then you go back and drink your fucking coffee and eat your donuts and sit in your house and twinkle your toes. No, <laughs> right. you got to find a motive. Mm. To start from the root. And guess what? Guess what? That's what people want to start doing as soon as that happens. Right. Yo, chill. You tripping. You tripping. Because yeah. listen, we started hustling for what? Because there wasn't right. nothing in the refrigerator, right? You're right. All right, well, it. when you start getting food in the refrigerator, hustling was never supposed to have been cool. Mm. You know why niggas started buying the jewelry, the cars, and all that shit? It was to, it was to make them feel good about what they accomplished because they're taking care of everybody else. Right, right. Hustling, when the era I came from, mm. it wasn't a, hustling didn't start off about being cool. Right. <laughs> it was because you had the hustle, you ain't have shit. Talking. We made it cool because it was like, I don't want to feel bad about what I'm doing. Mm. So I got to kind of mm. do something to, you know, keep my mind focused to continue to win. Mm. But people don't look at it like that. Give it to us, man. Drop it. Just, just give you the buck because you I told you when I come, I'm going to give it to you because I'm only have to give it to you one time. <laughs> but look, let me say this. We talking about the connect. We talking yeah. about the strange report. Mm hmm you had the back block boys. Yeah. You had Benny Siegel. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about 2021. You had Quilly Willie Mills. Yeah. Young Chris. Yeah, Young Chris. Osama Foreign. Osama Foreign. Mm -hmm. Freeway. Freeway. Mm -hmm. Y'all was one team. We got a whole album done. The new state property or something. Right like that. Okay, well, I, no, it, was, it could never be the new state property. It's always the back block boys. Back, no, state no, property, no, 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 give it to us. Like, yeah. what made you put them individuals in one room and it made um, you lock in and be a team? Like, we did the back block boys remix. Right. Mm. And I wanted a lot of people on that record. It's hard. And it was, it was hard to do because so many people got personal I mean, things going on. Okay. You know what I mean? That they they feel like, you know, they don't want to do this with this person, that person, that, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I you know, I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get I, I know the guys that's gonna come through and do what they gotta do for me. Great combination. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and 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 that's that's how that all played out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, we did that. Mm -hmm. And um 
Then it was like, it felt so good. We like, yo, let's just do the records. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, mm. let's work on some music. You know what I'm saying? We started doing it. Well, that was good. All right. All right. And so we started, yeah. we started doing the, the whole, whole project. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and the, the music was right. Yeah. It was. Yeah. We started the whole album. It's just not out yet. All that, man. I'm like, this ain't out yet. That's a good, a great combination. Yeah. Only you can pull the strings. And like listen, that. And, and listen. When we was doing the videos and shit like that, yeah. we was doing the bad black videos and shit. And they see the videos. My partner was the one directing all that shit. Like, <laughs> he keep every this. Listen, he gonna call every fucking body. <laughs> Everybody gonna listen to tweet. Whatever he say, do that's what we gonna do. And that's how the videos was coming out. Mm. But if you believe it or not, no drama mm. at all. No. All the Black Black Boys video shoot got shot up or that. No drama. You smell all these different personalities. I'm talking about so many niggas out there. That shit was lit. People ride by probably wouldn't pull over. Like, I, if I'm riding by, I'm not getting out of these niggas. I don't know what's going on. That was but having fun. No, ain't no telling how many. You know, I mean, it's about it. But nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> like, when we did the the, the Black Black remix, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. We did it in a warehouse, right? So. Was a lot of people in there. Yeah, fifty cent in there. Fuck. No, 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 no. That that was the original version. I'm talking about the remix. The remix. Oh. There was a lot of people in there, mm. and I said, "Yo, <laughs> everybody in here, we all together. We gonna leave together. We gonna all leave the same way we came. That's how we carry. That's how we carry. You know what I'm saying? So before you pump into a nigga or you feel like what what? Because everybody got it. I move like that. Everybody got it. But you got to do that. See, nobody never sets the tone. Yo, we all together. Yo, this boop, 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 because then the respect kicks in. But when a nigga don't, hey, introduced, there's no respect. It's like, oh, I ain't fuck, I don't fuck with that nigga. Ball. I don't know. But now it gets different. Yeah. So we 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 bring that. And we bring a different level of, you know, food. And man, it's machines and shit, Paul. Like, everybody, you know, we got 150,000 of a jury or something. Who wants to be? Nobody wants to beef. They niggas is like, where's the girls? That's some dirty shit. Niggas that want to just beef. They just want to beef because they mad. Because you win. We living in a time. We, we in a time. And when you winning, you a liar. But that's why when I'm in the club <laughs> and I want my niggas, not, if somebody, no, listen, take, huh? <laughs> we just trying to chill, man. Because I know what they willing to do. Yeah. And I, you might be willing to do it too. But I don't want to lose my niggas to no jail time. Come on. Or nothing else. I don't want my name to be on that. Like, oh, uh, yeah, such and such died because fucking with Mike Knox with that rap shit. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want to look at my man daughter growing up. She, Respect. her dad ain't here because he was out with me at a club and some bullshit happened. Respect. Nah, my nigga here, take a drink. Now, sometimes it just got to go there. Sometimes just, it's too late. Yeah. It just happened. Yeah. But overall, who really went that? You can't book a problem. See what happened with uh, the rapper, uh, what's his name, Troy? Troy, Troy. Troy Hatt. Yeah. And the other rapper, uh, yeah. uh, 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 Tech Stone, he was a blogger. Yeah, he was a blogger. He was, well, he, he, did, he, he did blogs. Yeah. He did blogs. But he was successful. He was starting to be successful. Yeah. Beans had came on a show one time to meet good. Yeah. His shit was going up. Yeah. But we saw it. He was beefing with a rapper and something. Like they saw y'all in the club. It's just about two people not being able to talk. <laughs> Nobody never tried to get them to even. If, even listen. Even if y'all not gonna fuck with each other, right? Coexist. Mm. To know yeah. because y'all in the same y'all in the same business. So mm -hmm. the possibility of you bumping into him is an eighty percent chance. That you're going to see, he's going to be in that building. Because he chased an opportunity like you chased an opportunity. Respect. And it's somebody's situation. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it, it, it's like, okay, it's like if you had an event, uh, and I'm not saying it because I should have, it could never be like that. Yeah. Let's just say you had an event tomorrow. I'm coming, and Leek is coming. Let's be clear on this. I like Leek Moss. His brother is my man. But I'm saying this to say, respectfully, your event, we're supposed to respect your space or any other 
person, they're supposed to respect your space, yeah. your night, which you put your money into. Right. Not fuck it up because, oh, this is the moment I'm seeing him or no. It's not supposed to go that way. That's why I didn't. I was going to bring Leak here today. I, I respected it. But it's not. Like, it's mean, not. Listen. It's no. I'm trust trying to me, see we had this conversation. I, had with I know, but see, but do you, but do you see how? It's like now, my watch. No, you want to know why? Because you're thinking about. I know you know him and you know me. Exactly. But no, it's not that. It's not. It's so far from that for me. Like I, I'm more disappointed than anything because. I'm the only one from this city that speak up for niggas. Talk about it. Don't none of these other niggas speak up for these niggas? They don't give a fuck about these niggas. So while they running around trying to think these niggas care, nigga, they don't care. Nick Ma said one thing last week. He said people be getting in the rooms, the good people, people that press buttons, press and people that ask. Right. Get asked who's the next up. Well, Leaf Ward said they be getting in the rooms and telling people who they who they should not to be put on put it on. Instead of who should be put it on. They're like, oh, don't put him on. He's too straight. Yeah, he, he's too dug in. Instead of oh, we next up. Guess what? I know what I do. Mm. I know what I do when I'm in the room with them niggas. I know what I do when I bring the big dog to the city. Mm. I know what I do. Come out. Mm. Come see. Yo, this my yeah, this my man, first 48. Right. He trying to do X, Y, and Z. Yo, this such and such. Yeah, he do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. I can I can't make you drink the water though. But I can lead you there. Wanna know why? My nigga, when I was 15, I was on my own. I wanted to be on my own. I was homeless. I had to figure it out. I slept mm. on park benches. I said to myself, if I ever get in a position to help somebody, I would, because I always wanted somebody to help me. That's true. So when I see this shit, like I, I'm gonna say it again, these niggas do not care about these Philly rappers the way I do. Interviews, I say niggas' names. I shout some out. Who hot? Disparate Leaf Ward, Rocky, Quilly, all of them. Right. Cores, I name them all. All of them. It don't come back though. It don't. It don't. It don't. Right? It, it don't come. And that's cool. Because I got my blessing for what I'm doing. I get mine. I, that's why I'm still here. But what I'm saying is this. Don't nobody. Nobody speak up for this city like me. Nope. None of them niggas. And that's excluding nobody. The hate. The hate. It's thick. Especially if you yeah. really win it and they really mad that you win it. You feel that hate. Especially in Philadelphia and shit. You feel I it? know you felt it. Yeah, Speak yeah. on the hate. Speak on the crabs in the barrel. Speak on... You know what I figured it out? I figured out what the hate is, man. It's like when I was in when I was in federal prison and my man's like, yo, you don't never... You know, because niggas get to tell the stories how they was getting money, how they was doing this. And they're like, bro, you don't never tell us no stories about 50. I said, because y'all niggas ain't gonna believe me. <laughs> you only believe what you've seen and what you've been a part of. Some shit is just over niggas' heads. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna sound like a liar. So I ain't even gonna tell the story. Oh. If you never seen a hundred thousand, right? And my man, my cousin behind me will tell you, he used to ride around with that in his trunk. You gonna be like, fuck out of here. <laughs> but it's the truth though. It's really the truth. But you gonna be like, whatever, fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I don't get caught up in that. I just learned that. Niggas gonna hate. Like you go on Instagram, you look, motherfuckers make up a whole fake page and have one follower and say some shit. And the shit they might say about you might be true. That's a nigga you know. That's a nigga that, that I never know you. That like, fake page shit, man. But that niggas be a nigga that really know, know you. And you gotta be delusional, bro. But they really sit there, make a whole new email, make a whole account. And just you can find out who do that shit now. Yeah, yeah. But they crafty. <laughs> the email come up. They, they crafty. Yeah. When they make a new email, only if, if they make niggas one with the same smart, email, they come up twice. <laughs> but if they make one, I sound like niggas one, is in here. They got fake pages. Y'all sound like y'all. Nigga, they around. 
They be trolling, they does that. So I, I dealt with the in Philly, bro. No, they, I dealt with the hate a very long time. I used to beat niggas up over here. <laughs> I used to catch niggas and just destroy them like in front of anybody. You can't be beating niggas up no more. Well, what nigga that you beat up there, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. But listen. Uh, you can't get worse than Bing, bro. No, 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 no. No, please. That's my brother, man. I know, but it's. He like... gonna be, you gonna fuck your interview up if you think you're gonna get one. If you keep playing, he's he he gonna be like, nope. He's he he gonna be like, all right, okay. If you love him, oh, really? he's first, gonna love him. He got he done. AM, he he why he do that? I'm off him. Matter of fact, you know, I'm ready to call him. I'm ready to call him. Call him right now. Call him right now. Tell him, tell him, we been with trying to get him on. Like, damn, what I got to call Kanye or something? He's like, what, um, what he say? Yeah, yeah, he put that nigga on the phone. He ain't fucking with you. He ain't, I bet you don't answer. What'd you say? What'd you say, he what? Oh, damn, one call. What'd you say? Damn, you fucked me up. Bro, I'm, I'm saying, talking about man, he gonna tell me you wasn't gonna answer. I ain't putting you on camera because, you know what I mean, you chilling. I said, you wasn't gonna what? Beans, what's up, Beans? We the streets, we been one. The, come on, Philly Fresh Way 8, Beans Steve. <laughs> what's up, baby? What's up? First 48. Johnny Mac, what's up, Beans? Come on. Where we going, Link? Don't fuck with this nigga, Mac. Don't fuck with him. All right, wait, call I'm wait till you up. see my interview first, and then you just make the decision. Yeah. I'm going to call BB up then. Yeah. Where you at? You in the city? <laughs> Look, he, he said, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to call BB up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get my interview. I'm going to call her right the fuck up. That's my fucking aunt. No, nah, this is a new wave, though, Mac. Yeah. This is a new wave. Yeah, where you at? You in the city? You still over? I'm coming over there in a, in a couple weeks. I'm gonna call you. When we go? 17th. The 17th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's her. Seagull, Seagull. You already know. He said, that's my God. <laughs> you all right? I'm gonna call you soon I'm done this shit. Tell him to get a drop. We're going out. All right, bet. All right. Yeah, I'm no, I'm, I'm gonna get a drop. You say you ain't gonna pick it up. I don't go through that type of goofy shit. Keep trying to tell different, man. This shit is over here different. Lately, you've been on the rampage, though. What's going on? What you mean? You've been on the rampage. Forest. Yeah, I just you've been calling a lot of niggas out. You've been you want to know bothered. why? Because I've been I've been quiet for so long that my, 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 they tired of that. Like, no, fuck that. Like, they keep playing, bro. Like, stop, stop. Like, I'm just because I'm the one don't mean I can't be checked. See, I follow protocol. I come from being a soldier. You gotta be a soldier for you to be a boss. So when my dog say to me, they fucking playing. Stop fucking playing. All right, I ain't playing no more. Who's irritating or not? All of them niggas. There ain't nobody exempt. If you're not standing on what you supposed to stand on, it's fucked up. Like, bro, I stands on this shit for our town. Yeah. Like, Listen, I'm telling you, bro. Like Philly G, you and it, you. I, st I did, I did all of that. Might not, I might not. Strong Trump. Top Tone Trump. Our Vegas. Our Vegas. Vegas. Right. He's still hot. Yeah. He on the new EP. Right. Who else? Who else want that new EP? Beans. Who else? I, I see. I, now, now the Beans. I make records so great with myself. The Beans dance off. You, on that track. Beans got got off on you. What you mean? What you mean? Get off me. Off? For what? Bar for bar. What you what you say like like? Cause left, you said like, nobody like, don't get off of me. Like you left me or something? Yeah, like who won in that chat? Who? I, I don't get left. You do all the treating. No, I don't even focus on that. I just focus so on you, making a good record. So See, that's why I feel he fucked up now. <laughs> that's why because you're talking about who <laughs> first was better. It's a song. It's not a fucking battle rap. That brings me to this. This is the competition. Right. Of sport. No, 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 listen, that's, listen. That you know, you're the, right. It is a competition of no sport. You're on the track and be like, this no. Got out <laughs> you know what's crazy? You know who did that? Who? Oh. You know who did that? Oh. Quilly did that. You could not see Quilly on the track. You said, what? See him for. What do you mean, see him? Like, what are you talking about? Bar from bar. Man, you fucking crazy. You know who I am. You let, me okay? explain, let me explain something to you. Play the song. Play this. Let me let me explain. Hold on, what is that? What do you say? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down as easy as because Quilly is like my that's my nigga. Talk to like, me. Since I've been in this shit, now let's look at who's in this shit. Mm -hmm. State property, major figures, 
Moose Winner, Bob Gates, all, all of them, right? Mike Knox always came with a record. <laughs> through the chain gang, through all that shit, Mike Knox always came with a fucking record. Mm. By himself, I always got airplay. I'm a fucking come up show legend. I'm still getting played on there right now. So if that doesn't answer your question, I don't know what to tell you. I respect you. Because I respect you. Because listen, it's it's about it's not about who's on the song with you. It's about making a great record. That's where we where we fuck it up at in the city. You got left. <laughs> no, I didn't get left. What happened was show, show them the what, 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 the, the show footage, the right? Yeah. Show them the video. I'm gonna show you the said. footage. Yeah, show it's them the footage. Phone. Really said. Right? What what happened was he said what what, what happened? Was, no, what happened was he realized that I don't write. Oh, okay. I don't write rap. Oh, I don't, I don't do that pen and pad shit. Oh shit. No, I'm I'm him for real. I'm really that guy. I make a hit right now. I respect that. I make a hit right now in 15 minutes and leave out this bitch and let y'all have it. Let's do it. That's what I do. First way, yeah. I'm just telling you that's what I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying, right? Let me find the footage. You covering you know. everything, man. <laughs> he said, he ain't leaving me in this shit. Yeah, I want to hear the song. It's right in front. Oh, here. <laughs> Talk is cheap. I'm only doing this for you. I'm only doing this. <laughs> Talk don't cost you nothing. Let's go. But this bag. Will cost you your life. You know they don't got the sauce, nigga. Niggas talking crazy about young. I wonder what's up. Come close to them, guaranteed you're getting hit up. Hard black towels, back in every pothole. Here's some niggas that's with us, they get the load. We the niggas in the city that be with the shit. In the club with the bottles, we show you discipline. Start some shit with my niggas and we gon' finish it. My watch come from Danny, you can't find it, it's limited. Fuck you niggas talking about, I'm bringing to your mother house. I'm talking 2030 shots. My life hard, blue collar crown, fuck around, get a white charge. I'm in a white charge, you're off and white, up in white marsh. Where that? that? I'm too that's deep that. in the sticks. That's my right, old girl. bitch cut me off, it's too deep in the mix. Where I'm only fresh about the mint, and you ain't getting sick. Yeah, I'm yeah. cut dirty as the water up in Michigan Flint. Yeah, Bernie made off. But do you know what Bernie made off it? I do the bags, I don't really do the car shit. I switch your car so much, they think it's car tricks. They give me seven years and set up all He gonna pause it. Don't play with me like that, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Who left where? I gave you a hand shot. I'm just saying, I don't get left. That's cheating. You gonna put two of your shit. Yo, you know what's crazy? We didn't finish it. Uh, we didn't finish it. That, like that day, we did, me and them did like four joints that day. Yeah. We did like four records that day. Wow. So we didn't finish that one. Mm. That's just so good. Bernie made off. Do you know what Bernie made yeah. off it? <laughs> Come on, man. You can't. I'm one of them, man. I hear you. That them. brings us to, before we end this, mm -hmm. I want to play a game with you. I'll be playing games and well, shit. This, this, this is on, Philly on, history. Uh, I like you, though. Philly history. Come on, come on. I want to know you know your shit. Come on, talk No double me. thinking. No, like, uh, let me think about it. Explaining why you picked this off the top. All right, go ahead. Ready? All right, go ahead. Pretty Forge. Hollow Man. As far as what? Battle? Rapping, better. Who's the best? Who's the best? Who's the Who best? Who would you take? Who would you take? Who would you take? Man, they both crazy. If you want to win something, if you want to, if you want to win that pot of the gold, bro, which one are you taking? See, I'm gonna tell you why I can't answer that question. No, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm gonna be it's biased. Not those. I'm gonna be biased because Creed Fortress is my cousin. Well, so, tell I'm gonna be biased. No biasness. Nah, I can't. I don't know. They tough. They both tough to me. 
So they both show up in their moments now. Hey, he no, yeah, listen, right. I'm I keeping it a buck. All right, let's see you out. They, they, oh. listen, them niggas is. I got that one for you. Go ahead. Joey Jahan or Quilly. <laughs> you, you disrespectful. <laughs> Um, and listen. Which one we, what Quilly we talking? We just talking about. What Quilly are we talking? What Hattie and we what talking Joey about? are we talking? We talking about, you can't compare that. Just co compare it. Uh, compare I gotta it. give it to Quilly. You going from Long Jeopardy and I fuck with Quilly. And it's hard. I'm going for Quilly. All right, say no more. Come on, let's go. You, you, ready, you ready for this? Yeah, Beanie right. Seagull or Meek Mills? <laughs> Beanie Seagull, what the fuck? Yeah. Do you see me? Oh, he. <laughs> no, but he would have played this game. I don't I play. It. He tried to shorten the motherfucking me and, me and uh, LeBron. <laughs> he one of them niggas. Come on, man. Miss J or Rocky? <laughs> you disrespectful. <laughs> Miss J. <Jay. laughs> you hear this guy? Oh, man. NH or Reed Dallas? Neither one. <laughs> He keeps talking about, man. He had a situation with my man. Oh, I like N.A. He had a situation with my man. I never situation. The situation wasn't with N.H. Oh, Ace was there. I he know. was there, though. Yeah. yeah. He moved like a unit, like a team. Yeah, he was there, but yeah. it had nothing to do with him. Yeah, but he was there, though. Yeah, he was there, but guess what? <laughs> Ask me how that went. I, I mean, see you how it went. You know how it went. But I had to go after that. I mean, gas is banned. You know what you do? You know what you do? Ratchet got pulled out. Right? Nothing went the fuck off. Nobody, uh, yeah, none of that. No and we talking about years ago. Every time about years ago because nobody ever. No, no, let's finish, let's finish. Let's make let the finish. wrong. The, the wrong move? Or say the wrong thing. Well, you're not supposed to when a gun is yeah, out. Yeah, that's, no, yeah, we're going to do this because I like this type of shit. Because I'm one of them. I don't duck them, but I told you that. <laughs> but it's anything. You pull it, you use it. You pull it, you no, use no, it, right? Not. No, it's not. No, that is the rules. <laughs> you fucking back like then, that. Back then. That's back then. Ain't no such thing as back then, motherfucker. Don't start that bullshit. That motherfucker come out and go off. Right? <laughs> you knew that. You okay, went. so look. Let me ask you this. If we the fuck together, right? And I'm outside. We outside. We going to go get some blunts or something. The motherfucker got us down bad. We ain't got no pistols. This like the time for you to be at the tough. Because yeah, when ain't we get the fuck out of here, if I get the fuck out of here and I remember who this nigga is, I'm on his ass. But right now, you got it, baby. You got you got all this shit. Go ahead. Niggas too worried about their Because my shit ain't short. They worry about their image. See how I'm saying? That, see, you one of them young niggas. Me? You one of them, you think like them. Uh, yeah, yeah. It came out, baby. It pulled you out. You know what I mean? No. You got to think smart. Listen, these manipulators ain't going to get me to say. No, it's the rules. Come on, come on. Come on. All right, all right, all right. All right. Next. I got to have fun with this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like him. See, he not bothered. Oh, he about to get the water coming in his nut ass. Now we follow the protocol. Now we follow the protocol. I'm trying to tell you the subject. You had a hell of a life, man. Yeah. And, and, and I was That's talking to Ernest earlier, so yeah. and we was talking about you. Moss was there, and he was stabbing it. He was like, yo, you he, he had to fight. Your whole life, you had to fight. Your mm -hmm. whole life is fighting, man. Fighting for your position and shit like that. Listen, you know, that's why I, I, listen, I'm very, I'm, listen, honestly, I'm very passionate about music because I love it. Mm -hmm. Right? But I just feel like the city as a whole just need to come together. Talk about it. That's the need. That's my like, really. position here. Like you got some ever. some guys that's talented, but they don't know how to make the record. But I don't make them not talented. But I help niggas. Like, wow, bro, do this. Put the verse here. Do it. Like, you got people that shoot videos that they be so caught up in just trying to get the money from a nigga mm. that they ain't focusing on making the video the right way so y'all both can get out of here. Mm. They just focus on getting your shit and rolling. Bro, that's all. And that's not to just any. Person, mm. that's just game for. Yo, listen, man, you can, you cannot. You know, my man told me the other day. You know, my partner told me the other day. He said, "Bro, we we better when we're not even thinking about the money." Mm -hmm. That's a fucking fact. That's a fact. He said, "We better." He said because we so focused on the hustle mm. that the money comes. Yeah. And no matter what, we make that shit happen. It's gonna come. We know our label gonna be the biggest shit to come out of this, one of the biggest labels to come out of this town. Cause I like what Booney is doing, what he got with the youngest. Who? Uh, Booney. Oh, Booney, oh, right? yeah. Like, and, and he do his shit calmly. Yeah. 
Yeah, bro. Right? So I'm just saying, like, the first 48, that's supposed to, like, this what we supposed to be rapping. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. You got Spade, he got something coming out. You got, you don't remember what the million dollars worth of game. They showing niggas the, the it. way to go. Love it. It's not supposed to be so much at each other. Like, even like with all this, they'll see this and be like, oh, Nero's gonna believe. No, but me and Leek might do a record next week. That's I'm just I might say, yo, just because they got crazy, mm -hmm. yo, hun, put a verse on this. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But you gotta know that, you gotta know that as men, when you get tagged, I gotta tag you back. That's all. But I'm glad you said that. But the thing is, like, let's just say this, right? Mm -hmm. You got an entourage of 5,000 people. And, and then and then I say I got a service that I provide. Mm -hmm. And then now you bring me five thousand people, and that's an overload for me. I ain't ready for it. So with you helping people, it's like mm. now when the fans of yours is coming to the fans of theirs, they ain't ready for the overload. Man, it's like what's next? Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like you can only help with some somebody for so much before it's like mm -hmm. what's next? Like you give mm -hmm. a you you do a hit record with a nobody mm -hmm. and then now people is coming to him and then he just missed his he just missed the blessing because he wasn't ready for it. He wasn't right. ready. So you can bring the city together is a good thing for mm -hmm. us and that's what we try to do, but a lot of the times people is not ready for what's next. And that's, that's why true. Look yeah. divided. But you but but the, go ahead. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. No, but you're right. You're right. You're right. But that's why that's that's why what you saying is one thousand percent correct, but that's why the person that bring it together, you have to get them ready for what's next. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? What what people don't do, like for instance, this is a studio, right? Okay, so now why are we? I'm not saying that they don't do it here. Why are we just mixing here? Mm. Why are we just mixing and putting? Why is it not? Why is he not mastering? Right. Let's bring everything here. Why do we have to outsource and go to Jersey to get our merch? Mm. Why isn't it a run back there with that shit in there? And we got, everybody got a son. Yeah. You put 10 of them niggas in the room and y'all learn to work these fucking machines and make these hoodies. All right. So now guess what? When you say, yo, I got a, I got a, 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 a drink for you for 5,000. 5,000 gets you four records recorded, your merch done. Your shit pushed out. Yeah. Bro, you get three, four of them a week, man. You got 20 yeah. bands. Easy. Easy, because niggas record songs all day long. Mm -hmm. So it's just about recording the right records. Right. So it, so what I'm saying is, you can get people ready for the next thing, but you gotta, you can't just have them and just be like, yeah, this is my team. No, what the fuck is they doing? What are they bringing to the What they bring to the table? What are they doing right, that's helping the situation? Because if not, they just taking up room in the car. Yeah. Get bro. the fuck out. Man, you talking. You know what I'm saying? You talking. Man, I wear five hats with this shit. I'm the rapper. I'm the CEO. I'm a partner. I'm an A&R. Wow. I do all kind of shit. Nigga, come, listen, I come home. That co I come home. They see me doing security for 50. Niggas on Instagram. Oh, this nigga 50 security guard. He's 50 security guard. Yeah. I look like a security guard now. <laughs> I'm just saying. Do I look like a fucking security guard now? <laughs> and y'all these niggas been out here. You got to start somewhere. You got to find see your lane. I with Dirt. Dirt, one of the realest niggas in this shit. He's chilling with Dirt. Man, I'm sat he's down. Me and him, we all sat down and ate. And talk for hours. Word. One of the one of the realest in this. He made me like him even more. Already like he made me like him even more. That's how I feel about the young boy Leaf. Like these young boys is throwing out this joint. I just want Leaf to just I just I just want Leaf to just do music. It's a lot of hate coming his way too though. I just want him to do music. I want him to stay for That's it. I all of them. That. All of them. All of them. All of just, them. Do just do music. Just do music, man. We know what that is. Just right. do music. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. you know what I like about Rocky? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna tell you what I really like about Rocky. Talk to me. When she on Instagram, she ain't just showing you rap shit. Mm. Right? She's showing you where she where she really come from. Right. Right? She'll show you some hood shit because she come from the hood. Yeah. She'll show you she a mother too. You understand know what I'm saying? Dirty. She not just Sturdy. Rocky all day long. Like, I, I have a bad day and I'll say some crazy shit on Instagram. <laughs> and motherfucker the judge and all that, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You might see me tomorrow. You see, I might be like this today. You might see me a week from there and be like, yo, I just seen Knox. That nigga just hopped out that machine here woofing like a motherfucker. <laughs> Wanna know why? Machine here woofing. Wanna know why? I might get on my Instagram season because what I know is, it's somebody out there that's feeling how I'm feeling today. Yeah. 
know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, let me tell you, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you what happened. <clears throat> and I ain't even gonna put their business all the way out there. Yeah. But I was on Instagram, right? This was uh, this was this was day for us. Mm. This particular girl was on Instagram. And What's her name? I can't say her name. And she, she's not a rapper, she's, she's no mm. She had a situation where it was bad for her, right? Mm. And she couldn't go back home that night. Oh, wow. This was when it snowed all crazy the other day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm talking about, she was like crying out. Like, I'm talking about, like, I'm like, wow. yo, you all right? Because nobody was responding to the girl. Mm. I'm like, well, where you at? Okay. I got up. I swear to God. Yeah. I called right now. I got up, got my car, rode down to where she was at, gave her, huh, mm. get a hotel room, got my car, and left. Okay. That's just what I do. That's what, okay. what we do. Ain't nothing. I don't. No yams out here. No. no. Okay. That's what's missing. Yeah. That type of shit. Might have been your cousin, might have been. It, I, respect, knows. I respect you. I respect you. Know you. That's how we talk. No, but we know that's why I'm here and that's yeah. why because we respect each other, but we giving it to the people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't understand well, what you're doing, you you making a way for for everybody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You giving niggas a platform to promote and market whatever it is they doing. You know. Only thing you ask me to do is rep what you're doing and show up on time and do your interviews. That's all. You see that's the it. elevation, you see how clean. That's what that's it. Polish see things. before you I was on some you. bullshit. <laughs> when you was on your bullshit, I wasn't fucking with you. I'm like, <clears throat> no, nah, Matt, when you, you know what I mean, I, I got I you, not now. That. I fuck with that though. Because you on some shit right now. I respect right? that. I respect that. You was you was y'all, you was born. You gotta go through your <laughs> fried. You was on some shit. Look how elevated. I said, man, tell you Matt when I'm up that jaw, I had to bring a bunch of niggas with choppers. Ain't no telling who he didn't call me first somebody. I, I ain't gonna fuck up there. You was going at it. Yeah, because I want niggas ain't see my vision. It was playing trying to play. No, but see, but they didn't see mine either. Yeah. You gotta it's a we got a whole world, bro. Yeah, I I understand now. You understand now. And I, I break all you turn to the fit. There you go. It's crazy. Make them pay. When it comes to the vision shit, it's your vision. It's right. your vision. Like Hussein Bull said, I, he said, I, he said, I, he said, I practice for four years to run nine seconds. Right, That's real. It, mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like. Niggas ain't gonna see the Absolutely. Gotta keep grinding. Who was saying that? They not but gonna that's see That's how that I move now. That's how I move now. I put my plays together and I say, I'm gonna hit them with all bombs. If I fuck up, I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna fuck up a fuck. They love when I You fuck gotta up. love your fuck up. Yeah. You gotta learn like, from it. I do. Look, and my I'm man had a house, right? Not mm -hmm. even a Alright, so a friend of mine, I can't say his name. He used to, no, he used to sit in front of his building every day. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. At the time that he was sitting in front of his building, the shit ain't had no windows, ain't had nothing. Mm. It was gutter, it was fucked up, right? Mm. And he, he was sitting in front of his building every single fucking day, right? And I would go see him, we would talk, I would leave or whatever, but this particular day I'm sitting there where it was raining, he was looking at the door. Mm. I said, bro, I know why you sitting here. Wow. And he like, why? I said, cause they don't see what you see. You, It's done already. And he looked at me and said, hey. you get it. I said, yeah, it's done already. The windows, all this shit is done already. And guess what now? What's up? It's done. That's how Am I, I lying? That's how I move. It's done. That's how I move. So what I'm saying we gotta, is, we gotta speak it. your vision, you gotta... You right. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have your moments where you feel down or you feel away, but you gotta push. <laughs> but you, like you, you gotta understand the position you in. You mm -hmm. in the position, you can navigate a lot of shit. With these youngers, these youngers, they want to be on your platform. That's real. You got to push it to them. Like, you can put an album out. Yeah, like you could do a First 48 yeah, album. Man. You can put, yeah. push the First 48 yeah. motherfucking community type thing. That's what I want to do. Like, yeah. listen, you went out, like with the rappers you went out and started doing, I, I'd rather, we ain't got to come in the studio, keep this doing record. We can do some records, but let's Saturday, let's go play some ball. All right. Yeah. Always versus the young boys. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Be Let's go play some ball. Yeah. Because now, if, if, if later on, if I'm upset about something, 
You know me yeah, like yeah. he mad, but he ain't really that bad. Right. Right. It ain't like what you think. Yeah. I ain't gotta go get the gun and get the understanding. Yeah, each understand other. and know yeah. each other. Yeah. But yeah. niggas don't these yeah. y'all don't they don't know let's each go other. Let's go like Yeah, like yo, we all at? Yeah. We over here. Philly never moved like that. But no. you know what? We seen we seen New York, no lie. Yeah. Come here and suck Philly dry. We saw that. But I'm, we I'm, I'm I, 20, 30 years in Philly hip hip hop. You history. was rolling at a point of time though, not you, know you was saying? making it happen. I'm talking about last year. Yeah. Getting Crowley together, getting Beanie together, getting Freeway together. Yeah. Then you was men in relationships, man. Yeah. You was put you put oh skin on with uh with all things. I can't do it all by myself. I'm just saying, I, I just don't don't fumble the rock. Keep doing no, it. No, no, yeah, we'll keep doing it. Because I'm going to assist you. Whatever you need me yeah, to do, that's yeah, what I do. Yeah. And I link with individuals that's sturdy and yeah, at the same mission. Yeah, without definitely do that. Because I, I, I know you wouldn't have no problem. Here you go, 50 Cent. Look at this. Without without you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, we, because listen. This, or give me advice of, of your no, own. No, I would do it Which because, because what people don't understand, you know, like, I know the yeah. formula how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. To present. So I would be like, yo, do this, do that, and then we, we go up. I, because I know how it feels to want to have a connection. So right. if it's meant and it's supposed to be, that's what's going to happen. Right? You can't deny nobody. Facts. You can't, like, I, like listen, you can't deny. I feel like it's so much talent in the field. But lot. I feel like, like I, I don't even like how they... How they promote Philly artists on a lot of these sites. Oh my God, you see it. It'll be like, a, oh yeah, they say he got two bodies, but he look like, come <laughs> on, bro, we talking about his music. Everybody like, active. Why y'all doing that? Like, it's just like, that's not the way. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel like another thing is, all the videos, it's guns out. Right? You look at look Atlanta, at you look at down south and all that, they do it, you wanna know why? Because they are fucking open carry state. Talk about it. So they can be the on there with this shit out yeah. and all of that because Educate. they walk around with them out. Educate the people. But we in Philadelphia, you can't do that. At all. You tell them yourself. And these people yeah. is zooming in, getting them motherfucking numbers off them joints, or seeing that they scratched off, that's a federal case. Mm. And then you wonder how they pick it. Man, you think the feds ain't on Instagram? Uh, they watching. You fucking crazy. You know what I mean? POs on Instagram? Nigga. Watching Nick parole, federal parole officers. Uh, here you go, go this Instagram guy. Watching niggas. Here go this guy here. here, here you coming here. in tomorrow? You ain't got nothing, but they you on there like this? All this money. And you hanging with this nigga? And you supposed to be with him because he a felon and all this crazy shit. Yeah. It's all of that going on. Tell him. But niggas is still doing the bullshit. Clout. And then be like, oh, they, they, they told on me. No, you told on your fucking self. It's a clout thing, and that's the world we living in. So <laughs> closing knots. Closing. I gave you the Let's, best interview. Ain't oh nobody man, never gonna an interview. And I knew it was. I knew it would be. He ducked me the first time because he was riding with the ops See, at I the time. <laughs> See, See, I mean, and I know what type of guy Knox is. I, I knew they was that. gonna fix this shit though. I, I told him they was gonna you fix it. You told me that and I have another yeah. situation. You told me the King Ernest yeah. shit. Yeah, I said he gonna fix it. Thank God. And we made history. Yeah. It was all. It was all love. Y'all niggas ain't called me though. Y'all ain't take me out to eat. Y'all ain't do shit. Cause you was on your MK shit coming at everybody. He get in his mood sometimes. He said, ain't fucking with me, man. I did it. He a park a big ass machine on the block of North Philly. He's sitting no. and pop his shit. I don't be in. See, that's what I'm saying. I just said that. I don't be nowhere. You know what you're doing. I'll be in the club and do some crazy shit. <laughs> but I, I, I don't. I fuck with them, y'all. You know I mean, y'all you know I mean, y'all you know I mean. First you know. 48 album album coming out soon. Yeah, <laughs> close them out. Let them know. Let them know. We got, we, it, it, listen, it, it got to be co executive by us, though. By our lady. If we do it, that we got, we got to do it. Now, this is why right. I should knock the shits like y'all. <laughs> See, that's what you get kicked out of doing. But it's a new bully in town. And that's Johnny fucking Max. He know it. That's why he said that. You already know. I got love for you, yeah, man. No, no. Let the people know where to catch up on Instagram. Oh uh, man, you already YouTube. know Instagram is uh, at Mike Knox uh, official. Uh, the YouTube is at Mike Knox two one five. Twitter is at Mike Knox 215. I mean, What's the come? What's the come? The albums. The albums, the albums movies, everything. We got the Backlog Boys movie coming. You on national TV, bro. You on yeah, Power. Well, well, you know, Power is the shit, number one yeah. TV show yeah. right now. Yeah. It's on the number one TV show. You ain't show seen shit right yet. Now. Ah. You on the radio. You on the fucking radio. Yeah, they do say that. <laughs> Mike Knox. But listen, I ain't, I ain't happy yet. You're not. Nah. Respect. I ain't, Respect. I ain't happy yet. Respect. I, I ain't where I want to be. 
I ain't, I ain't there yet. You're doing good. When I'm, able, you know. when, I, I, when I'm able to put other people on and they be successful too, and they making money, that's what I'll be having. I, prefer, I respect that. You, you get a kick out of motherfuckers winning, that's me. Yeah, because if everybody else winning, I fall. I don't really fall. Mm -hmm. I get a piece from you, 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 everybody gonna pull me back up. But, you know, yeah, the music is coming. We got a new album coming. I'm working on that. I knew it was gonna be a legendary night, man. That's me, man. Mike Knox, man. Right, I know it. Tell Buck why we finally did it. <laughs> we did it, Buck! Ah. Call that nigga Leak, uh, uh, call that nigga Leak Balls. Get Leak that nigga on the phone. Oh my God. Get that nigga on the phone.